unto God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Lift your right hand as a son of David. Son of David. Have mercy on me in this Have service. Mercy on me in this Let your mercy speak for me. Let your mercy speak Behold me with the eyes of mercy. Me Open your mouth, I say, don't, and ask I'm God for mercy. Ask, mercy the ask the Lord for mercy. 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 Ekushata balado zeke handadash. Lekrete yando ze lebraka tu zika ya. Ikoto pa yande le debosh. Lato zika tapayata ze. Lekoto pa yando zika talado ze. Labroto toto topa kande le debosh. Ikwato zila to zika ta. Lebrato shaka da balado zika ha. Ikupa yado zoto baladash. Son of David, have mercy on me. Son of David, show me your mercy. Son of David, behold me with the eyes of your mercy. Thank you, Lord Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 In Jesus' name. Say, Lord, give me attention in this service this morning. Oh, Lord. Oh Lord, give, me give me attention in this service, in this, service this morning Lord, that Lord, I may not live the same way I oh came. Lord, Open attention. your mouth and pray now. Oh Lord, Open your mouth and pray now. Oh Talk give to your attention. heavenly Lord, Father. Tell him to give you his attention. Give me attention, give me attention in this Lord. service. Give me attention in this service. Just as the way you gave to the woman with the issue of blood. Just as the way you gave to the blind body most. God, give me attention. Let me not leave this service the same way I came. I came for a change. The God that changed situation. Touch my life. 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 Let me live this service. Wait my miracle. Let me live this service. Wait my blessing. Let me live this service. Wait my open door. Let me live this service. This morning. Touch me, O God, in this morning service. Let me not leave. Shut up, Akusi Katalabush. Ekuta Paladuze. Le Croto Shikata Mando Zikataladash. Ekoto Payeke de Le Coto Payadash. Lato Zikata Palandose. Equa Lato Shikada Paladas. Le Croto Shakada Paladuze. Ekuto Palando Zikataladush. La Croto Shanda Nanamaduze. Ikuto palado zikata ladosh. Ikata palado zikata. Le grado shikata palado zikata. Imado do pakata lada da da dash. Ekwado zakata da 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 dash. Ekwalado zakata da 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 dash. Ekwalado shakada da 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 da. Ekwalado shakada palada zata ladash. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 In Jesus' name. I decree in this very service this morning. I receive. I decree in the name that is above every other name. Amen. Every issue that is contending with you, you will see their hand. It will see their hand. Amen. They will not see your hand. Amen. You will see their hand. Amen. They will not see your hand. Amen. You will see their hand. Amen. They will not see your hand. Amen. You will see their hand. Amen. And they will not see your hand. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Shiba katala doze. Lado shina manando zikata la dalabash. Ekufa la doze kata la dash. La do shanda la ma doze kata la doze. Say, Lord, I am a winner. Therefore, Lord, in this service, help me win every battle around my life. Help me win every battle around my life. Help me win every battle around my life. Open your mouth and pray to God. 
Ask God to give you the capacity to be victorious over every battle around you this morning. Every battle contenting with your joy. Every battle contenting with your happiness. Every battle contenting with God's glory in your life. Say, Lord, give me the capacity to live victoriously over them now. 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 In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every power assigned to frustrate my coming to take service today. Every power to assign to carry out the mission that I may go home empty and dead. In the name of Jesus, I change you with the shades of spirit. I cast you out now into the habit. In the name of Jesus Christ, begin to cast them out. Every power assigned. With the mission of frustrating your coming here today. Every prince and princesses of the hell assigned to stand against your answer. Say, Lord, I shame them with the chains of the spirit. I cast them into the lagoon. Where they belong in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lekre de shika to palando ze, ikwado ze ke yanda na labash, ikhe de palando ze, ikata palanda da ze de de bakanda da da, lekwado ze ke yanda da da, ikhe de lebra da zaka da da da, imara da zaka da 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 da, ikwado zaka da 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 da, ikoto palanda zaka da da da, ilakra da da pa yeka da da da, iyakata palanda da 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 da, ikupa ya da 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 da, lekwado ze ke yanda da 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 e quanto se cata da 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 e la to se che da 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 e quanto vai a da zaca da 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 le quanto vai a da zaca da 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 le quanto se cata palatos e quanto su copaia da da le quanto se cata pale quanto si ha la da 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 e così parto se le che de ha Le pranana na mashika da baladusia. Every agent assigned to fight against his service today. We release the angels of battle now to contend with them. Bring them down this morning in the name of Jesus Christ. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. Every agent of darkness, every agent from the sea, every agent from the race of principalities assigned with the mission to frustrate and fight against today's service. Say we release the angels of battle, captain by agent Michael, with a sword of victory in their hand. They begin to destroy them now. 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 In the race of the spirit, put them to sword. In the race of the spirit, put them to sword. In the race of the spirit, put them to sword. In the race of the spirit, put them to sword. In the race of the spirit, put them to sword. In the race of the spirit, put them to sword. In the race of the spirit, put them to sword. In the race of the spirit, put them Attempt to sword. So every of your weapons, instrument assigned to fight against our service today, we set them on fire. 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 We set them on fire now. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, everlasting Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen.
Amen. Amen. In Jesus' name. Our Father, thank you this morning for the thank grace to be Lord. here. Thank you for gathering together your children. We had a carcass, is the eagle gather. And we know that you are here already. May you approve our service today. May you open heaven for your signs and wonders. May your spirit come and dwell in our midst today. By your mercy, may you not pass us by. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You are the only God that never say goodbye. Because you said, I will be with you even unto the end of the world. Today we pray, let this service have meaning in our lives. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh God Almighty, your children have come to seek you today. Reveal yourself to them. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You have a lot to do in the life of your children. And that is why you approve this gathering today. And we pray that you have your way. No man will share your glory with you. No man will share your glory with you. You alone deserve the glory. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. May you shout three big amen as you take your seat. Amen. 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 Lord bless you. Once again, welcome to church this morning. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And I pray for all of us that we shall be a vessel of honor in the name of Jesus Christ. Say you shall be a vessel of honor in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We ask right where you are, those of you on our Facebook right now joining us. You are welcome to today's service. You are welcome to the church. And the Lord God have you in mind. Distance is not a barrier. All you need to do is to put your faith to work. Where there is faith, God can reach that place. It's the God that drives the vehicle of this ministry. It's God that drives the miracle, you know, the vehicle of today's service. As you open up, the Lord shall stand and stand by and touch you and deliver your miracle to you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. If you are proud to be the child of God, wherever you are now, put your hands together a few minutes and celebrate this your God, the ancient of days, the king of kings, the healer, and the deliverer. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Praise Master Jesus. Get your Bible with you. Hallelujah. I want to see your Bible. Praise Master Jesus. Let me see your Bible. Amen. If you are proud of it, you can raise it very well. What you are not proud of, that means God is not happy with it in your hands. Amen. Uh, let me see your own. Be proud of your Bible. Praise Master Jesus. Ah, be proud of your Bible. Okay. And now when you are coming, come with Bible. Bible is your identity. Praise Master Jesus. Is that? Maybe it's not your identity. Bible. Bible. Baby have his own Bible. I think when we came from the name is they bought Bible for baby. Oh, your Bible. It's very important. Praise Master Jesus. Every one of us need a word from God to open our word. I'm telling you the truth. The prayer you pray in the church is not enough. Amen. So be, be familiar with your Bible. Be familiar with your Bible. Praise Master Jesus. I want to, to look at your, this women pack now. There is what you call the lips wet. There is what you call the eye. What do you call it now? There's, even you will see this of blade inside, the, inside that very bag. They carry it from places to places. But you can't pick you all your Bible. Your Bible is your pride. Amen. 
Amen. Because most of Tuesday service now I will be doing some teachings. Because by the help of the Holy Spirit, God began to tell you way to establish deliverance is properly, you know, preparing the people by his word. Praise Master Jesus. Praise Master Jesus. It's what makes the difference. Amen. Yes. It's what makes the difference. So when you have a counter with the word, your prayer life becomes effective. Your prayer life becomes effective. Praise Master Jesus. Emptiness makes noise, but the noise is not effective. When a man or woman is filled, it don't make noise. It declares things that come to pass. Praise Master Jesus. Okay? The amount of God's word you have is the amount of God in you. Amen. The amount of God in you. So, be very familiar with your Bible. Anywhere you are going to. Buy a lot of Bible. You can have up to three Bible. One in your business place. One at home. For those of you who drive car, one inside your car. Because for every time God wants to speak to you, God may decide to speak to you. You might be inside your vehicle. And then the word comes and you stop. You look at it. Hallelujah. The word is a mirror that exposes God's misery to us. So fall in love with the word. Because this end time, I'm telling you, believers have neglected the word of God. Have neglected the word of God. Praise Master Jesus. They have neglected the word of God. And that is why we have empty people in the house of God. Sometimes you shall see surprise to see what believers who have spent five years in the Lord, what they are still doing. Because they are empty, the word of God is not in them. Hallelujah. When the word of God is in you, it sustains the spirit of God in you. There are things that you see, the word in you will tell you, it's not heady and God is not happy about it. Praise Master Jesus. So you need to fill your spirit with the word of God so that when you are in your business places as you are declaring a thing, it's coming to pass. When you are in your place of prayers as you are praying, it will come to pass. Church, prayer is not a noise. Prayer is opening the hand of God for you to receive. So the only way to achieve that is challenging God by his word. Challenging God by what? By his word. Praise Master Jesus. So that prayer is more effective when you challenge God by his word. As you challenge God by his word, you see God will begin to move in the name of Jesus Christ. What make the gathering of God's children not to be ceremonial? You know, there are some services you go. I'm telling you the truth. It's a ceremonial gathering. A ceremonial gathering. Just to excite ourselves, excite ourselves and we live. What make it unique and not to be ceremonial, it is when the spirit of God is present by his word in the meeting. And you discover that people will be blessed. And the presence of God will be everywhere. Hallelujah. Praise Master Jesus. That is when you will ask somebody, how was the service today? Say, beautiful. I say, why? He said, God spoke to me. But when it's a ceremonial gathering, ah, when you are saying, the, oh, the service was beautiful today. What make it beautiful? The choir sang, 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 sang. The choir sang. Because the element is see is the one that I set the heart. So, such a place is a ceremonial gathering. Praise Master Jesus. What makes a unique place is when the Holy Spirit takes over your heart. And then you leave a deposit which you call testimony. Push your neighbor say, I'm leaving this service today with my testimony. Hallelujah. Praise Master Jesus. And that is the truth. And that is why anywhere the Spirit of God is, the devil must always fight the place. Amen. A devil will always fight a place. My mentor will always say, for you to know you are doing the right thing, 
and God is in with you, the God is with your church, he said, the devil must fight you. He said, he must fight you. And then you will know that this you are doing, God's hand is upon it. Hallelujah. So the devil must fight. A lady met me after our service last week, Tuesday. They do okay. As we were praying, I met the lady was sitting at the back seat, and I prayed for her. after the service. She came to meet me and said to me that someone have told her what God is doing here. And every time we prepare, suddenly he will not know what will happen. She will not come before he know it's already evening. It has been like that until that day. That last Tuesday, no. said she already left again. She was on the business place. And then the Holy Spirit began to flog her heart. Flog her heart. Go to that service. Go to that service. Go to that. And then she came. And I, she told me after the service that she's happy that she came. So anywhere God's presence is, that God is working. The devil wants to fight. It's always like that. Yes, that's why the Bible said in the presence of the Lord there is what? There is liberty. Liberty from where? Because there are powers that don't want people to be connected to their place of, pre of breakthrough. Amen. Places of breakthrough. And that is why sometimes when you see some people, they go to a place the fool, you know, they became come addicted to it, to those places, because the spirit of Satan is there. Hallelujah. The first thing God will give you in this service today is divine direction. Women, I'm not hearing the sound of your voice. Yeah. Women shout a lot. But women who put David into trouble. Uh -huh. That make Saul to fight David because they were shouting. Saul killed a thousand. David killed ten thousand. So they, they put the young man into trouble. So women know how to shout. Praise Master Jesus. City of Kings, our case is different. Women, City of Kings, your case is different. Uh, praise Master Jesus. Uh -huh. It was evil there that brought this emotional aspect of Jesus out. When they were, they were crying and shouting, he asked to console them. He said, weep not for me, weep for your children. So, don't always keep silent in the presence of God. There is nothing like, you know, being shy in God's presence. This is your father's house. This is what? Your father's house. So, don't be shy. Pray the way God wants you to pray. Shout to him the way he wants to hear you. And you know, the man shouted, Son of David, have mercy on me. He even accuses, keep quiet. He continued to shout. Praise Master Jesus. Okay. The Lord bless you this morning. The Lord, Lord have brought you here and equipped you to reign in victory in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Now, I want to look at Esther chapter 6. It's very, very important. You know, I came to discover there are a lot of things that in the word of God that is very powerful that can change our mindset. That can change the way we think. That can change the way we know God. That can change the way we pray. That can change everything about us. If we give ourselves to, I say, open your eyes. Learn now. Learn. Because it might just be it that will take you around the world. So, the word of God has capacity to open our eyes to secret that will make us relevant in our environment, in our family, in our places of work. Amen. Church, amen. God is a God of liberty. Whenever he comes down, he set me free. 
He puts smile on people's faces. That is what is known for. That is the true definition of who God is. And that is why I declare over you that this season you will not shed tears. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I want to talk to us before we enter prayers this morning on what I call divine remembrance. Divine remembrance. Hallelujah. Praise Master Jesus. In this part of the world, for those who have a lot of money to feed friends and relatives, sometimes after some years, they will say they want to do remembrance of their parents who died long ago. Praise Master Jesus. You see, you see they do different kind of announcement, bring people together. Some of them self is even more bigger than the burial they gave to their father long ago. Some of them is even bigger. The money they spend is even bigger than the money they spend on their father their lifetime. Lifetime. So, what is remembrance? It is the question. Because we cannot understand this subject well, we start looking at these words very, very well. It's the ability to recall an event, an encounter that once happened in the past. So when we look at remembrance at that age, that means the Bible that says there is a season in Ecclesiastes chapter 3, and time ago, it was right. And when I began to look at this definition, I discovered that everyone that have a encounter with God started with promise. God will come and say, I will set you free. I will bless you. I will expand you. I will do this. That is how it started. And when sometimes it comes to fulfillment, what happened? The Bible will say is, at the season, according to the word of God, it came to pass. So, there is a season of promise that God will promise, I will bless you, I will open door, I will do this. This is the season of prophetic declarations. There are prophecies that we have received about five years ago. It's not because he's dead, he's waiting for the time. Now, when the season of fulfillment come, the ability of God to recall the word he has spoken to you long time ago is what we call remembrance. Praise Master Jesus. So, sometimes there are evil some. He said 20 or 10 years ago, a man of God met me. He's also placed his faith. The prophecy is not dead. It's alive. It's waiting for the season. And that is why every true believer, your concrete prayer should be, Lord, remember me. Lord, remember me. Praise Master Jesus. How many of you know that overtaking is allowed in the race of the spirit? We will soon get there. We are what is meant for you, another person will grab it. I'm telling you. There are many of us, the testimony we are supposed to share was given to another person by virtue of what, of what overtaking. You must, we will get there just now. You will understand what I'm talking about. That God won't just want to bless you in this life, but because of the word, because of the faith of another person, it takes the attention of God. And that is why whenever you come to the service, don't isolate yourself from God's presence. Praise Master Jesus. Praise Master Jesus. And you come to service here and God open your eyes, you will laugh. 
There are so many people who come to serve you. It's like they are forced to come. When God opens your eyes, when you are standing on this podium, some of them, they want to, they are even excited if you spend 10 minutes in the church. They are very super excited because they don't understand the principle of the move of the Holy Spirit. They didn't come with expectation. They just came so that pastor will see me, will not get angry that I didn't come to church. No. Encounter with God is more than that. It is the way you deal with God that makes God remember you. It's the truth. Praise Master Jesus. How can I be a child of God from January to December every year? I don't give testimony. It's a problem. I don't, I've never come out one day to share testimony. It's something that must be put right in my life. It's something. You know, the rich man that invited Jesus to his house. On the day when we all shall meet, if he made heaven, I'm going to query him. You allow that person to take your glory. He was the one who brought Jesus to his house. But the woman that was condemned, condemned, caught, they said is in immorality, took the glory. He brought a perfume, a costly perfume, and break it at the feet of Jesus. And you are telling me overtaking is not allowed. He spent all the money. He prepared me for Jesus, the man. And Jesus was not after the me. No. It is how you receive him. And he even told the man, I came to your house, you didn't give me water to wash. He said to the man, you didn't give me water. You didn't welcome me where. But look at this woman. He brought a costly perfume because he knew the value of Jesus. He knows the value of Jesus. And Jesus said, he blessed her and said, the gospel will remember you. And today we are talking about the woman. Overtaking is allowed. Praise Master Jesus. Overtaking is allowed in the presence of God. It's not because God showed partiality. No. Even Peter said it. He said, God is not partial to anyone who seek the Lord. God will reveal himself to him. To every nation. God never show partiality. So, it is the process that God decided to fulfill a word that was spoken concerning you. You will say, God remembered me. That is what we call remembrance. Divine means something that is beyond natural. Something that is not natural. Therefore, when we say divine, we are saying the supernatural remembered you. And it is God who controls the affair of the heavens and the earth. When heaven remembered a man, the earth will remember him. That is how it works. Praise Master Jesus. Divinity. It's beyond natural. Amen. Praise Master Jesus. <laughs> Look at now. Jesus was passing by when he was carrying out his earthly assignment and there was a man who was tired of his life of sin. And needed Jesus' attention. And that man was Zacchaeus. Now, he said, nature cheated him. He was short. Very short. So that he cannot see because of the crowd. What will I do? Mashandalaba. The name of Jesus is our helper. So this morning, the Lord will help you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And he saw a sycamore tree. This is not over anyone. 
It can add height to my height. Hallelujah. And the Bible said he climbed on top. It was there when Jesus wanted to pass. Why did Jesus look up? Jesus' focus was on his way where he was going to. But when he got there, he looked up because of the faith of Zacchaeus. He was a very rich man. For a rich man to reduce himself, climbing a tree. The first quality of a man or woman worthy of God remembrance is a heart of humility. Humbleness before God. He was rich. A tax collector. How many of you, if you know? You know now. Who have, who have, who have uh, knowledge of the board of Tanaro. <laughs> you know, you know them very well. Praise Master Jesus. When they come to your store, you are in trouble. You walk around the old place, walk around the old place. So it was a rich man. It was a rich man. But yet he humbled himself to climb the sycamore tree. And because of that, Jesus said, I cannot pass without giving attention to this man. He said, Today, for the fact of this faith, Jesus changed his plan. I don't know if someone came here with faith that will change the plan of Jesus today. But the faith of Zacchaeus changed God's arrangement. The way he was going to, and, and what am I trying to bring out? Overtaking his word. I'm trying to tell you. He was going to a place to bless people because of the faith of Zacchaeus. He changed his mind. And said to Zacchaeus, I'm going to your house today. It's your house I am going to. I have aborted my plan of going to where I'm going to. I'm coming to your house. Even though people were murmuring, how can he eat with sinner? You are calling him a sinner. The faith he has, you don't have it. It's the problem of the church. We know how to criticize and condemn people. But our life is no reflection of what the word of God says. That is why the Bible says, let he who want to judge others start with his own eyes. Praise Master Jesus. So it is very imperative. Divine remembrance. And Jesus will remember you today. Church, I say my father in heaven will remember you today. Before we read Esther chapter 6, can we read 1 Samuel chapter 1? Two verse from there, 19 and 20. Let's look at what happened to Anna. After all the prayer, he, when I go through, I went through it, he said every year, a co-wife will mock her from, you know, even when they go to the house of the Lord. Perhaps, maybe as they are praying, she will be praying here, I'm not like the other woman. Barry woman who cannot give child. I have plenty of children. You'll be mocking her, even in the house of God. And the Bible said, instead of her to pray, she will cry throughout. She will cry in Chilo throughout. Praise Master Jesus. Who is mocking you? God will keep them alive to see the end of your story. Amen. Who is mocking you because of your children? I said, God will keep them alive to see the end of that story. Amen. Who is mocking you because of your husband? God will keep them alive to see the end of that story. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. And then, this faithful year, she decided, I will not cry again. For all that is happening around me is to motivate me. She went to the house of the Lord, began to pray. A first woman to pray the prayer of the spirit. We're groaning. Where the mouth is moving, the spirit is praying. The word is not being heard. It was Anna. She was praying like a drunk woman. A woman that is drunk. That even the man of God thought that she was drunk with wine. But she came with the power of the Holy Spirit to pray in the house. To pray in the house of God. He said, my change must come. He said, God must open my charter. He said, God must remember me. He prayed and began to pray in the house of God. Lord, remember me. Lord, remember me. 
Lord, remember me. Roll away this shame from me. This reproach, remove it from me. People have asked me different questions. This year, let it be my turn to give testimony. I've heard a lot of people give testimony in this very house of yours. It is my turn. And then, the man of God prophesied for the first time. Now, I'm, uh, you know, Eli was in the season of dryness. Go and ask. The eyes was deep. Spiritually, she can no longer, he can no longer see. But for that moment, his eyes opened. And he prophesied to her. He said, go. The Lord has answered your prayers. And the Bible said immediately, the heart of Anna was filled with joy. The sorrow was removed. Because why? She found out that she had an encounter with God. Everything about her life has changed. Praise Master Jesus. Amen. Whenever you come to the house of God and go back home sorrowful, you never met with God. Tell your neighbor, you never met with God. Anyone that comes to the house of God should go back with joy in his heart. Because God is a distributor of joy. He's the essence of God in the house. It's an evidence that you came to God's presence. Praise Master Jesus. It's not every day I say, my sister, what did I say? I just the verse. I can't, I can't talk today the verse. And I don't wait I the verse. You didn't meet God. You just came to waste your time in the church and you are going home. Just like that. Whenever you come to the house of God, God removes something from your life. He removes the sorrow and pain from your life. It's the first evidence that something happened in your life today. And that's why you see some people will tell you, I was feeling sorrowful, pain in my heart. When I came back to, after the service, I felt joy in my heart. Because they have a counter with God. They have a counter with God. Praise Master Jesus. I bet that sister said she will not fall with the baby. It's too early for you to be doing that. Praise Master Jesus. Okay. So let me read that to her. First Samuel chapter 1, verse 18 and 19. And she said, Like the head made find grace in their sight. So the woman went away and did it, and her countenance was no more sad. Okay. Verse 19. And they rose up in the morning early and worshipped before the Lord, and returned and came to their house to Ramah. And Ekana knew Hannah his wife, and the Lord remembered her. Look at that. And Anna, God remember her after the prayers. Went home and he said, God, remember her. It's a season of remembrance. The prophet has prophesied to her. But when she now got home, the Lord remembered her. And she conceived and gave birth to Samuel. And then he said, Because the Lord has answered me, your name shall be called Samuel. Praise Master Jesus. So, that is what I want you. The word remembered was mentioned in the Bible 72 times. That is to tell you how important that word is. That word, and God remembered, and God remembered, was mentioned 72 times in the Bible. So that is to tell you how important that word is. That word you just said. The Lord remembered Rachel. The Lord remembered Sarah. God remembered a lot of them. And today, your case will not be different. Amen. I say God will remember you. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Let's look at Mordecai. Let's look at Mordecai in Esther chapter 6. Now, because of family powers that was fighting Mordecai, anytime he labor, his glory will be given to another person. I pray today, every glory that I've been stolen from you, I pray they shall be returned to you today. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The person I'm talking to is not in this service yet. If you are here, that amen will sound like a thunder. Anytime he labor, anytime he sweat, his glory will be given to another person. That person will just go, collect the glory, will be shining with it. Why he will be suffering? Nobody recognizes him. 
You know? Praise Master Jesus. No wonder the Bible said, if the foundation be destroyed, he said, what will the righteous do? What will the righteous do? If the foundation be destroyed, what will the righteous do? The foundation is the one that holds the house. It holds the house. It solidifies the strength, resists the wind and the storm if the foundation is solid. So the foundation of Mordecai family was not solid. Because of that, it went through a lot, a lot of poverty, suffering and pain because of bad foundation. He lost the brother and he became responsible for his, you know, his brother's daughter. And at the end of the day, he was gifted, anointed, but yet without result. I pray for you today that you and your household and your children will begin to get result from now. I say you begin to get result from now. You begin to get result from now. Result in your business. Result in your place of work. Result in your marriage. Result in the life of your children. Result academically in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. So, another man was shining with his glory. Anyone that wants to shine with your glory, their light will be buried after now. Another man was just there enjoying his glory. If he do the job, he will take the promotion. If he do the job, he will take the promotion. He was there. And God, for me, I believe that Mordecai, you know, neglected, neglected the midnight prayers. <laughs> for that reason, the king was sleeping very well because he was not praying at night. Amen. But when the situation became more tough, Mordecai decided to be praying. And what happened in Esther chapter 6? Esther chapter 6 from verse 1. On that night could not the king sleep. On that night, the king could not sleep. And he commanded to bring the book of record of Chronicles. Look at that. Because Mordecai was praying, the angels came and disturbed the king. The heaven will be at rest until your case is settled. Amen. Church, I say the heaven will be at rest until your case is settled. Amen. You don't understand the parable of Jesus and said the woman was always coming to trouble the judge, trouble the judge. He was talking about what happened in heaven when you are praying. Anytime you are praying, God, the heaven is at rest. God, even God said it. He said, give me no rest until I bring to pass that which concerns you. It, it was the word of God who said that. Amen. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. And God sent angel to trouble the king. I said, you can't sleep. You can't sleep. Praise Master Jesus. When God remember us, what is the first thing? Is this? God begins to fight for us. Tell your neighbor, God will begin to, to fight for you. So whenever God remember us, he will start fighting our battles. He will start fighting our battles. That is when in the office you will see, before you know, God changed the management act to begin to favor you. Because God has decided to remember you. Praise Master Jesus. <laughs> he will fight it. He sent the angel. The king could not sleep. Remove sleep. I pray for you. Those who will bring joy and happiness to your life this week, may they not sleep until they meet you. Amen. Church, I said, may they not sleep until they meet you. Amen. Children of God, I said, may they not sleep until they meet you. Amen. Children of God, I said, may they not sleep until they meet you. Amen. And then, and they were read before the king, 
And it was found written that Mordecai had told the big tanner and the Tevish. What happened to the book of the Chronicle after that event? The enemy kept it. The enemy what? Eh? The enemy kept it and hid it. Praise Master Jesus. Start to me to where he's used to civil servant. Civil service very well. There are some, I'm not saying your own. There are some ministries, especially at the headquarter level. If you are not lawyer, you will sit on your file on some things. Keep it somewhere that no eyes will see it. Praise Master Jesus. Uh, so it's like that. That means it started long ago. The file was kept somewhere. The book was kept closed. I pray for you. The book that, cons that contains your case in heaven will be brought before God after today. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Yes. Yes. It was kept somewhere. But when God came, God decided to move to the highest authority. Number two. After God fight. Number two is that God create a pathway, a direction for his children to be fulfilled. That's how God works. When God remember you, he creates a direction. He creates a pathway for you. They brought the book and they opened it. And the king said, I want to hear. Read it to my ear. Praise Master Jesus. Read it to my ear. I want to hear. So as he was reading it, it was found that Mordecai was the one who saved the king. And from the expression, that means that other person have taken the glory already. The king was not aware of what Mordecai did. Praise Master Jesus. Praise Master Jesus. Who is trading your testimony with sorrow? God will answer you today. Amen. It was clear. The king was not aware. They gave him, you know, another report. For that reason, he never called on Mordecai. Mordecai was with him in the palace here, sitting at the gate, protecting the gate. But yet, it was not noticed. I pray for you today that the battle you have won on the gate will be announced by heaven. I say it will be announced by heaven. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Unexpected visitation is coming to your life. Amen. Say God says so. I believe it. I believe it. And it is settled. And it is settled. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. And then? Two of the king of Chabalans, the keepers of the door, who sought to lay hands on the king, Asaros. And the king said, What honor and dignity had been done to Mordecai for this? Then said the king's servant and ministered unto him, There is nothing done for him. The king said, Who is the court now? Who is at the court now? Haman was come into the outward court of the king's house to speak. Haman was coming to meet the king. To do what again? To speak unto the king to hang Mordecai. Look at that. He was bringing another evil report again against Mordecai. So that the king will hang Mordecai. You see it? Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. Do you know why you must not fold your hand? You must pray with us, season. Because there is an Emma somewhere who is planning your downfall. He's planning the downfall of your children. He's planning for you to have marital crisis again. He's always there. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. Beware of people who always ask you questions. They don't ask you questions about good things about your family. Bad things. Beware of them. Some of them are the catalysts of your problems. They want to come to find out whether the, the, this thing they are using is working. They'll be coming to ask you. 
I'm coming to ask you. And you because most of the children of God, we are very, we have, we are, you know, careless. We say, this person loves me, we should consign. <laughs> Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. <laughs> they still consign. Has he ever asked you one day, come to meet you, and ask you one day, say, sister, is God blessing you and your husband? No. The man they beat you again. That is what we come with. He want to find. Say, Satan, get behind me. Satan, get behind me. Say it with authority. Say, Satan, get behind me. Satan, get behind me. That's why the Bible pray for wisdom. I was telling my daughter, I said, wisdom is very powerful. If not, God will not say pray for wisdom. He know that there are things that wisdom can do for you. He said, pray to get wisdom. Pray to get wisdom. Praise Master Jesus. Praise Master Jesus. Anyone, a hey Lord that comes to your house, you cook, and say, oh, they enjoy, oh, this kind of food, now they eat. Reduce the quality of the food next time. Reduce what? Yes. It's not a compliment. It's going with secret. It's going with what? I'm telling you, they're down the table. The other one to thank God, say, God bless you. Ah, now wow, now they enjoy. Now this kind of food, now they eat here. Yeah? Praise Master Jesus. That person not desire a good thing. Huh? Now, you want to cook less than the one way they draw for hand. Give and make it eat. Praise Master Jesus. You must understand the times of your enemy to be able to subdue them. Subdue them. Praise Master Jesus. When your husband is taking his friends around. And he come back home to tell you, I ah, just went to one of my property today. And my friend said, now you still get this one again. Tell your husband to stop taking him to your property. Tell your husband, stop taking him to your property. He's not happy for you. Praise Master Jesus. So you must understand the language. He was coming again. Bring him another report so that Mordecai will be hung. Anyone that vowed that good things will not come to you and your household. As you pray in this service today, the Lord will put a hand to them. Amen. It's the truth. It is truth. How can you be living in a couple? Suddenly, somebody is not greeting you again. You report, you didn't drag anything. You report, you didn't argue anything. Suddenly, he's not greeting you again. It's, there is something he's seeing in your life. Praise Master Jesus. <laughs> I don't want to go into one day I will have the time to talk about the mission of, of who? Of who? The mission of the who? The dilemma. A man, we are going to I will have time to tell you. So you will discover how they operate around you. How they operate around you. When the Bible is talking about scorpion. This is the people he calls scorpion and serpent. Praise Master Jesus. He was coming again. I want to come and tell King Agmodekaya. It's better. Because all he has done to him yet, Mordecai was still happy, sitting at the gate. There are people, even your happiness is a problem to them. You say you they happy, not problem. Praise Master Jesus. Say this man, this woman has so laugh in the lap. Now that laugh be problem. Praise Master Jesus. A laugh is the problem. They are bigger, they are richer, but yet they are not still comfortable with your joy. See how bad people is. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. There is a there are things you have that those who think they are millionaires they don't have. I'm telling you the truth. Things you, you have. You know that we don't see what we have because we are jealous of others. Sometimes we don't see what we have. Because we are jealous of others, we only see what others possess. But what we have, we don't see it. 
Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. May God open your eyes to what he has blessed you with. Amen. 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 And then what happened? Unto the king to hang Mordecai on the gallows that he had prepared for him. Mm -hmm. And the king's servant said unto him, Behold, Haman, standeth in the court. And the king said, Let him come in. Let him come in. So Haman came in, and the king said unto him, What shall be done unto the man whom the king delighted to honor? Look at that. The question he asked, oh, Mama, he called him. Say, What thing we will do for somebody where king they are be with? Say, You are blessed. Look what did the man think for his heart. Wicked man. Look at what he said. Think. Now, Emma thought in his heart, to whom would the king delight to do honor more than uh -huh. to myself? He said, not me. He said, Anna. He said, what else other person with the king? Because now only they live. Those who are fighting us, they are not satisfied. Mm -hmm. That is why you too should not give up. You should not what? Give up. I told you one day, I was coming from Abuja around in the midnight. I called God who came to pick me. In the midnight, and God came to pick me from where the vehicle dropped me. We are coming. In the midnight where people were sleeping, even believers will be sleeping. But I saw a woman being baited at the forger's Maybe the person this woman is contenting with now is even sleeping at home. At this midnight, the woman is at the four junction. Be baited. Ah, no, 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 no. no. Some women are careless. I praise Master Jesus. At that midnight. You see? At that midnight, baited by another man in four junction. And the worst thing is that even some of us with the men, we are not sensitive. How can your wife not be at home by the midnight? <laughs> Praise Master Jesus. I'm not satisfied. I'm not satisfied. I say, ah, why are you not praying? I'm too busy. Okay, well, when the world has start, you will know. When you are too busy to pray, you are giving advantage to the enemy. You are too busy to pray. Hope it's like you are carried away. The thing is not even moving. If I move, it's this one you are moving. Huh? Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. That is a fact. So you, the Bible says, pray without ceasing. It is effective prayers that make God remember you. It's effective prayers. I told you of a man I met. I was doing, called me, went there for an all night. We were praying, and the Holy Spirit opened me. I told him, sir, as you are here now, the person you are contenting with is Nakure, with a fat, fat cow. Nakure. Praise Master Jesus. Fat cow. Fat cow. Want to offer. So that if we get that position, you too you are fighting for. Praise Master Jesus. But these are said of people when they come to the house of God, these are believers. If they put 1,000, the pastor will not hear what? Put 1,000 as a seed offering in the verse. The pastor will not hear what? But you are contented for a decent position that person is offering cow for. To know God, a little God. But what you, you serve a mighty God. You must understand this. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. <laughs> he said, Ush, it's me. It's only me. Only me. And I have correct impression. When your prayer is always directed to yourself, me alone, me alone, me alone, me alone. You become boring to God. You become what? Boring to God. He said, which other person apart from me? When God remember you, he put confusion in the heart of your enemies. 
Indirectly, they will be promoting you. They'll be moving you. They'll be moving you. They'll be moving you. I listened to TB Joshua then. He said, he said, what bring about lifting and expansion to his ministry? He said, it was a crying, you know, people criticizing him everywhere. Criticizing him, calling him names. Names everywhere. He said, he discovered that the more they were calling, people will not come. They want to come and see whether it is true. When they come, before you know, they will be part of the ministry. He said, I, he said, never printed a poster one day in Lagos. He said, go around. He said, these people were his what? Media house. He was rejoicing and happy. Let them keep criticizing him. Keep criticizing him, calling him names. Calling him names. And people who want to come, come and see whether truly this man is a satanic agent. In the process of this, they will receive their miracle. And they abide. You see? That's how God works. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. The Bible says in Joshua, I said, no, we'll be able to compete with you all the days of your life. It was already established. No man, any man that wants to pick challenges with you is already in trouble. He will die before his time because God said it in Joshua. He said, no one will be able to compete with you. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. You don't know who you are. That is the problem. You don't know who you are and what you carry. And then? And Emma answered the king of the man whom mm -hmm. the king delighted to honor. Uh -huh. Let the royal apparel be brought, which the king Look used to wear. Look at a selfish wear. man. He said, the garment of the king. He said, let it be brought. He will put on the person. The king. The person will be king for one day. That is what he said. Bring the, con the, the garment of the king and put on the person. And he will do what? And the horse. And the, the, the horse, the, the official car of the president, of the king himself will be brought for the man to ride on. Look at a man. Our enemies will miscalculate. Amen. And give us advantage to succeed in life. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Say bring, he will ride. Anyone that carried the kingship anointing is the one that controls the affair of the earth. Today, you will have a counter with the kingship anointing. Amen. You will take over the control of your family. Amen. Take over the control of your marriage. Amen. Take over control of your business. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. So he told the king, anytime I read this place, I laugh. I say, hey, greedy man. Praise Master Jesus. Uh, greedy man. And then, and the horse that the king rideth upon, and the crown royal which is set upon his head. Look at that. The crown of the king. If you remove the crown, the authority has been taken away. Say, give it. Put it on his head. How many of you know the day saw Andover's garment to David? Or the day he transferred the kingship to him? Yeah, that was the day. Because if you remove the crown and put it on that person's head, you are, the, the, the king is useless. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. But now it's true anyway. Some of your kings, they walk without cream crown. If you see them in the evil, especially because they are living a useless life. Some of your, your king, you don't even know, you don't even know them. They don't carry crown, they don't carry anything. That they are abusing the power divinely given to them. The crown is your authority. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. And that is why even those days you hardly see king. Amen. Amen. The king that died before this, the last time anyone, you know, maybe of our age group saw him, should be around 1979. Before he died. You only know that there is an above beneath the palace. Praise Master Jesus. Echo? So you understand the, 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 the port. It will be around. When man is announced through the, 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 the street, the earth will obey his destiny. Because he's putting on, look at what he's put on, the garment. One, the royal crown. That stands for authority. The, the garment stands for beauty. You know, and the ox stands for speed. Everything that God and make God what who God is, 
was given to him. He said, therefore, there shall be an announcement made on the earth. This is the one that God has chosen to honor. And as a result, environment obey destiny. You know, places are subject to the oil upon the head of the man. And, and then, you know, everything that is good is, you know, follow him. No wonder David said, goodness and mercy shall follow me. He said, that shall be done. What was the surprise he received? Tell your neighbor, your enemy will receive surprised. <laughs> the shock of their life. The shock of their life. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. Yeah, it's one of the aspirants now that went to their headquarters and more demand certificate of return. When they say, give me certificate of return, when the activities you done was not done properly. Praise Master Jesus. That is the problem of ego and pride. What he has done to Nigerians. And then? Then the king sent to him and make haste and take the apparel of, and the horse, as thou hast said, and do evil so to Mordecai. You go and do it to what? To Mordecai. Say, now nah, you, who suggests it? Take everything. Go around, hurry, don't go home. Take all, all these things. This is my cram. Everything. Go and do it to Mordecai. Mm. The man that he came to kill, he became a servant to the man. I pray for you. Those who think you are finished, mm. they will serve you in this earth. Amen. They will serve your children. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. He hurry. And his Bible said he covered his head with shame. And took him around the entire village. That was the day he hand over to Mordecai. Everything he has stolen from Mordecai, that was the day he hand over to Mordecai. Because God decided to remember him. How bad is it? Somebody he caused enemy. Say, take him round. He was not the one shouting. This is the man that the king chose to honor. This is the man that the king chose to honor. When you have honored a man, can you dishonor the man? No, that was why the, the place he met to hand Mordecai, he and his family was hanged there. No, because he has used his mouth to say this man is honored. See it? When God remember a man, the man becomes the center attraction of the entire world. Mm -hmm. And God becomes part of his life. For anything to happen to him, must first happen to God. And nobody can destroy God. No man, no woman on earth can destroy God. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. It's not possible. It's not possible. I have a counter last time. Let me tell you. Then I, 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 I normally took my wife to where I take her car to and she went this very faithful morning. We got there, we came out from the car. And I I I stayed with her on the roadside so that she would get a vehicle. I would take her. Suddenly, we saw this truck. I've never seen something like that. And the truck, <laughs> praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. And the truck was, if you look, I cannot explain that day. We were running, the truck was pursuing us. It's like something that was programmed. You must kill these people. You must kill these people. We will run to this side, the truck will follow us this way. We run to this side, the truck will follow us this way. It was a drama that sometimes I still imagine today. I still imagine today. <laughs> Praise Master Jesus. <laughs> you know, women. My wife was chanting, Jesus, oh, Jesus, oh. Jesus, oh, Jesus, oh. I've never seen her chant Jesus like that. Chanting Jesus. Oh, yeah. Chanting Jesus. <laughs> it's a spirit that I don't want to. He will run, he will pray. It's like. What they say, Madrid, you must kill these couples today. If we run to right, we will, will go there. Run to left, we will go there. And something occurred in my mind. I said, Jesus said, be still. And I said, in my heart, be still. Because I know it was satanic programming. A man who is on the mission cannot be killed. Praise Master Jesus. <laughs> you must understand that there are things that happens to us. A satanic programming. 
Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. Even as standing here, as I said, he thinks that I will laugh because I know that it is satanic manipulation. You cannot be liberating people and blessing people. You think the devil will fold your hand. Praise Master Jesus. And that is why you must always pray for your pastor. If you want your pastor to pray for you, to bless you, it is your duty. It's your duty. It's your duty. Praise Master Jesus. I, I was talking to a hope this morning. I told him, there is no Tuesday I don't complain. I told, I told him this morning. Yes. Why? I knew that this is satanic manipulations. Praise Master Jesus. Because when the devil gets me angry, you can't be blessed in the service. You are not. The devil knows that. The devil knows that. That is one thing which we who are in deliverance ministry, we see a lot of things. A lot of things. We see a lot of things. There are some nights that I experience on a counter because I know that there is somebody that God wants to liberate and this enemy don't want it. They don't want it. They come, you can't set these people free. You can't set these people free. They are my, our soldiers. You can't set them free. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. And that is why you must honor the oil that is upon your pastor. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. Let's stand to our feet. Tell your neighbor this prayer. It's not for those who want to embrace gentility. So you have not come today on remove gentility. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. I want you to pray a violent prayers. A violent prayers. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. Everyone must remember me. Everyone must remember my children. Everyone must remember my business. Everyone must remember my home. Enough is enough. Shande bradu zeke adalabash. Ekata balando zonto do balando shikata lados. Legro do shakata balando zeke andadash. Iku palado zonto do bakuri aladosh. La kuti anda la bashante le braduze. Iku sakata balado zika dalalash. Lift your right hand and say, Thank you, Lord, for choosing me. Thank you, Lord. For your love towards me. Thank you Lord Jesus. For decided to be my father. Give him praise. Thank him Lord. For the word that I've heard. Thank you Jesus. For that word of life. That I've heard. Thank you Jesus. For that word of life. I have heard. Give him all the glory. Shanda da paladusi hakada. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Father. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lift your right hand and say, by the power of the Holy Ghost. I'm not here with the sound of a voice, church. Say, by the power of the Holy Ghost, I refuse to be forgotten by my helpers. Say, Lord, I refuse to be forgotten by my helpers. I receive 
divine help over my situation now in the name of Jesus Christ. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Say, I refuse to be forgotten by my helper. I receive divine help over my situation now in the name of Jesus Christ. Ikaba le godo zika talado ze le guada dozoko to balada iya kada basiko to lodo le granda shakada ha. Joseph suffered the more when the empress forgot him, but God Almighty moved mightily for him to be remembered. Say, God, I refuse to be forgotten by my helpers. I refuse to be forgotten by my helpers, men and women that you have set in places to help me, oh God. I refuse to be forgotten by them. Ikushaka da baladoze, la guada dozo, ikupayande, le grotto do bakande zikata, ikushika da baladoze. This month of March, I refuse to be forgotten by my helpers. Those who carry what I desire. Those who carried my expectations, I refuse to be forgotten by them. I pray for divine help over my situation. I pray for divine help over my business. I pray for divine help over my, my marriage. I pray for divine help over my job, over my children. Over my academics. Over my document. I pray. Ekushika tabaladuze, Mandele brakato shinda baladu zikada, le grado shaka tabaladu zoto bakada, le grade shinda baduze ya. That city where your children live, the man that will help them move to the next level, may they not see sleep until they have a counter with them now. Ikabala dozoto bayeke te le grada. That nation your brother, your sister is. The man or woman they need that will introduce them to their breakthrough. May they not get peace until they meet with them now. That situation that make you cry. Receive divine help from God. 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 That issue you are tired over. You don't know what to do again. Receive divine help from God. 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 Battles that you are going through. Fight in every aspect of your life. I speak now. Receive divine help from God. 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 Lakashanda bakuzi alada. Ekayanda da bakuzele de baha. They have turned those who are supposed to help you against you. They have turned them against your husband. They have turned them against your children. They don't look at them anymore. I say now receive divine help from God. 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 
that visa you have been pursuing, the more you are trying, you are failing every time. I say, receive divine help from God. 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 That business idea you have, you have been pursuing and fighting for capital. It's not forthcoming. Hear me and hear me well. Receive divine help from God. 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 That's your brother, your sisters that have been badly for you know document to work, document to stay. By one year, two years, three years, four years, five years, six years, they are still there without it. I decree now. Receive help from God. 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 Your husband that pursue contract is like they have developed leg. They are running away. It's not forthcoming. I say receive divine help from God. 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 Lift your right hand and say, My help comes from the Lord. Say it again, My help comes from the Lord. My help comes from the Lord. Wherever you are following me now, begin to type amen on that Facebook and the anointing will begin to visit you. The anointing will be released upon your life. I don't know what brought you to the, you know, to social media this, this morning, but God's word is coming to you. Your doors shall be opened. Your doors shall be opened. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Say, Lord, release the angels of remembrance into the reins of the spirit to subdue, to subdue, to dominate the powers that is separating me from my helpers. The powers that is separating me from my helpers. Angels of remembrance, move in the reins of the spirit. Subdue them now. Bring them down in the name of Jesus. Turn into prayers now. I want the whole of this place to be filled with prayers. I want everyone to pray as you have never prayed before. God is here. The angels of the Lord is here. Command them into battles now. Let them begin to fight ancestral power. Family altars that have been fighting against your helpers. Not to locate you now. Is it the cause in the land where you were giving battle? Say, Lord, I send the angels now. Dominate them. Destroy them. Liberate me to have a counter with my helpers now. Who is that witch and wizard in your father's house that says your epas will not look at you? Send the angels of remembrance to attack them now. I'm not hearing you praying. If you don't pray where today you are doing yourself. A 
enough is enough. Shut up, Aladusia. Mandeleko to Paladusi Katayadash. Leke Payanda Laduzete Bakuria Ladush. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. I say the wonderful name of Jesus we pray. testimony of a young man who left the east to Lagos, you know, for greener pasture. He left and he, he, he came to Lagos to be blessed. And a spirit followed him from his father's house. There are many of us, we don't know what is attached to us. Today, whatever that will be attached to you, that follow you around, Breaking down all arrangements that have been made, the network that would have given you blessings, happiness in your home, they are breaking them down. Today, as you are saying amen, they are separated from your life. I say if you can say amen, they are separated from your life. They are separated from your children. They are separated from you. They are separated from your husband. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Anywhere he go, he put application. At the end of the day, once he finished, that familiar spirit will speak to the person and say, don't help him. Don't help him. The person is either have a counter in the dream not to help him. Something must happen. That is some of the things that are responsible for promise and faith. A sound assurance, and you are happy. The next day you come, the person is running from you. The powers have visited him or her and say, Don't help this person. Today, I assign an angel over your life. Anywhere you enter from today, they will hear the voice of an angel. In the mighty name of Jesus. Even in your marital life from today, your spouse, your partner will begin to hear the voice of an angel in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Any family that there is what we call spiritual circle never progress. Irrespective of whoever they have a counterweight, their destiny run around circle. A run around circle. And that is why there is no body in the family things are where, 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 where with. Everyone have a complaint. A comma, a comma, a comma. For someone who have the faith to say amen, now every pot will be removed from your destiny. Every pot will be removed from your life. Every pot will be removed from your statement. From today, the God of completion will manifest in your life. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. See, I started appealing a pot. This business started with a pot. Every pot in your life will be removed. Say, Lord, you need a man in the family. Oh, I'm not hearing you. Say, you need somebody in the family. Say, Lord, you, you God, you need somebody in the family that will break the circle. That evil circle in my family. I stand for my husband. That evil circle in my husband's family. You need someone to break it. I made myself available now. Use me. Let me carry your hands. As I begin to pray now. 
I break the circle. I break that evil circle. I break that evil circle by the anointing of the Holy Spirit. I break it now. I break it now. I break it now. I break it now. If I were you, I will call my family name. I break that circle. That evil circle. That evil circle programmed by the enemies. That moment we remove over. We start and move around. Never get freedom. Never move to a destination of joy and happiness and testimony. I break the circle now. demonic circle. I break that witchcraft circle. That ancestral circle. Break the circle. I break the circle now. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Let me tell you what circle is. How many of you know that Abraham, you know, he told a lie about his wife. How many of you have read that in your Bible? Huh? Okay. How many of you know that Isaac repeated the same thing? Huh? Isaac repeated the same thing. How many of you know that Jacob told lies to his father and said, I'm Esau? It was running in the family. Lies and deceivers. There were so many things running in the family of Abraham from generation to generation. Huh? The remaining sons of Jacob also came back home. They lied about the death of Joseph. They told lies. It was running the family. It's a circle. Moving. Moving. Moving around. Sometimes as believers, we should settle down and look at our family well. Whatever that is going on that is not right, is not a coincidence. It takes somebody that has a spiritual eyes to put an end to it. You will see some people, they are even proudly saying it. We are used to it, and so it is for our family. They will tell you openly. Because they are ignorant of things. God did not create your family to be a beggar. Anyone that wants to bring light will be having problem. Whether it's a male or female. 
Some women who have opportunity, God opened door, they meet a man who will lighten up their family. They will be having problems. Because it is a circle. If this woman has peace, he will liberate his brothers from poverty over their dead body. It will not work. You must understand this and look at what is going on in your family. Praise Master Jesus. My father retired without it. The only thing he gets us is a block. I go to the village and they said we must build a house before we build our burial our father. If we build a house, what money do we have left to do burial? He said we must build a house. And at the end of the day, we walk around and God help us or do the family and create confusion in their midst. And some of them were saying, if you ask them to build us, what would they use to bury their father? And at the end of the day, the man will be much worried. Is that what people want? And that was the only thing my father had was a plot of land and block inside. So we buried him in the land after 35 years of work job. And when I was there, I told myself I must build a house. I told myself, I, you know, right in my village, you know, people were sharing tears, siblings sharing tears. With I did not, if not time for me to cry, I look at my father's life. I look at the life, and right where they were, I said to, to myself, I must build a house. Not even a retired stage. At my young age, I will build a house. I left. I came back. I entered into prayers and began to break powers. I prayed for myself and my family. I prayed for myself and my family. I said to me, me and my brothers must live a different life. I tell you today, I tell you today, the one I seniored already have a house in Benin City, have a house in where it's working. That was after the encounter. And none of my brothers, I believe now, don't have a land. Because somebody has to break the cycle. Somebody has to break the cycle. It, you know, to see later. I pray for you that you will be greater than your parents. You will be greater than your parents. I went to a place, I pray for, I pray for this duty, this, you know, in one of these programs in the city. I said, from today, your mother will not fry garin in the village and pray for you again. Yeah. And all of them were silent. I opened their eyes. They thought it was blessing before for the old woman to labor by Gary. You put down for more to you go carry on from Lagos. If you are blessed, your parents will not do that. You will be the one to bring it to the village. We bring it to the village. Bring it to the village. And most of them shed tears in that service as I opened their eyes to it. And I say, God will cause a U-turn in your destinies. Praise Master Jesus. No, we are we we, we that in the Vamis say so we talk too much because we see a lot of things. There are a lot of things we see that many people don't see. That is what makes us different from teachers, different from pastors, different from this. Because there are many powers that are after our destinies. Every circle that will be drawn, that will be bringing limitations to you and your household is destroyed from today. 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 Lift your right hand and say, My husband must prosper. I know that many of women, the reason now why we, we say this, they are very reluctant to, to pray is because they have a faithful husband. Praise Master Jesus. 
Amen. For the sake of your children, say to yourself, my husband is blessed. Say to yourself, I'm blessed. My children, they are blessed. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. <laughs> Out of your apostle, chapter 5, verse 9. Immediately, can we have it on screen? Out of the apostle. Peter said, Nineteen, sorry. Five nineteen. But the angel of the Lord at night opened the prison doors. Who opened the prison doors? The angels of the Lord. And brought them forth. It was his own angel that brought them forth. You are going to pray. The angels of remembrance. Every spiritual prison that they have locked my peace. They have locked my wet. They have locked my children breakthrough. That they have locked my husband's settlement. They have locked my happiness. You know, my fruitfulness. Whatever belongs to me. The angels of remembrance. Move now. I break the prison open. In the mighty name of Jesus. Break the prison door open. Right now. In the name of Jesus. When your happiness is locked up, everything that's supposed to give you comfort give you pain. When your finance is locked up, instead of having access to gain, lost become the order of the day. In Jesus' mighty name, we we'll pray. Every effect of the law of works in your life are destroyed from today. You may not understand what I'm saying. That law is this. It's only when there is work that people remember you. When there is blessing, money to share, things, they will not remember you. It will record that the law of works. That is only when. Remember, you see them. Say, oh, I forget to. I forget. I don't remember again. That is when there is plenty chop. When there is work, we remember. In the name of Jesus. 
they will not label you Jackie in Jesus' name. Praise Master Jesus. As you come true for people in return, you will receive blessings. What is yours, no man will take it from you. No woman will take it from you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I disappoint the enemies who are waiting to mock and laugh at you. Because they will wait forever. I said 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 they will wait forever. What is planting your downfall? Planning your downfall, planning to make you suffer, planning to make you shed tears. Today, by the hand of God upon my life, whatever they plan, I return it back to them. 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 They shall cover their faces with shame. In the mighty name of Jesus. As the Bible says, a man, he said, he hurry home. I covered. He covered his face with what? Huh? With a vein. Because of shame. At the end of the day, those who have been making you cry. Those who have been making you think overnight. If you believe it now. And agree with me by your faith. At the end, they will end up in shame. They will end up in shame. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Don't fight a man, a woman who carry grace. Because you will end up in disgrace. Now what happened to him? The king said to him, go and take him round. Take it round. Take it round. And after that, he said, covered his face with vain because of shame. A hurry home. A hurry home to meet his wife. One thing is sure. A man who also married a woman who is a serpent, they must end up in destruction. I, one thing I want to say to you, women, be bold enough to tell your husband what he's doing is wrong. Praise Master Jesus. If you cannot look at your husband when he's doing something bad, and you say to him, Sir, what you are doing is wrong. You are not a wife, but you are a servant. Is it truth? You are a servant. You should be able to look at him and say, this will bring destruction to us. This will bring destruction to the family. Withdraw your arm from it. Not at the end of the day you contribute to it becomes problem. Becomes problem. Even as I'm standing here with all the grace that I carried, you know, Sincerely to you, I want to tell my wife will tell me, Sir, I know you are a man of God. This one you are doing is bad. Praise Master Jesus. Even though I'm shouting, say, Sir, shout, I accept it. But God knows I've just told you this one you are doing is bad. Praise Master Jesus. After I shout and shout around, I will look at it very well. You know, sometimes we men we don't want to agree so that we will not say, Woman, now they control you, man. So we, we've shot left and right, shot left and right first. Shot round everywhere. Later we'll go and think that thing. You see, <laughs> praise Master Jesus. We'll go and think it and say, this woman is saying the truth. Oh. <laughs> it's, it's all like that. It's an African man. Because if you just accept it like that, you say, oh, a woman, I did control this man. That is the reason you see some African men. Baby, bold enough. Because you'll be helping your home, helping your 
your marriage, helping your husband to succeed. Instead of the woman to say, please, let's stop this now. Yeah? What did you call that? Adam, the law of what? There's a law they call it. Like law of Kuma or whatever. Whatever I advise my sweat. The law of what? Kama. Thank you. So, instead of it to say, this law is what is pursuing us now. Let's talk. He said, the woman and his friend plan again on how they will kill Mordecai. And that was what led him and his family to be hanged. Look at when God is involved, anything you do, there is a meaning. Read. This is a man that be coming to the king's house, dying with him with his wife. Now, he only just came that day. He laid down just to beg Esther. God changes in arrow in the heart of the king. So you want to lie with my wife again? He immediately came out from the mouth of the king. They cover his face. Immediately. That is how God works. He was only trying to lead down to beg the queen. Please help me. God opened the eyes of the king and said, you must misinterpret this one so that this man will end up. If he don't die, Mordecai will not get peace. And he said, ah, even in my present, you want to sleep with my wife. He immediately came out from his mouth. They cover his face. That is all. So sometimes be bold. Look at your, oh God, this one, you know, you know, enter. Praise Master Jesus. You are saving your children. You are saving the future of your what? Of your children. May God bless you. Can we stand to our feet now? I don't know what you have been praying for. Right now, say to God, remember me now. Say, Lord, remember me now, please. Is it in the life of your children? Is it in your life? Is it in your home? Say, Lord, remember me. And the Bible said in verse 19, 1 Samuel chapter 1, it said, and God remembered Anna. Say, Lord, remember me. Lord, remember me. Say, God, remember me. I'm in your house. Remember this aspect. I'll be crying to you, Lord. I'll be crying to you. Pray for your children. Pray for your home. Tell God to remember you. Tell God to remember your children.
Remember me the way you remember Anna. Remember me the way you remember Rachel. Jesus mighty name we pray. Please can you just be silent in the presence of the Lord? Yes. You'll be silent in the presence of the Lord. And you can be silent. The angels of the Lord is here. You move around in this auditorium now as open your heart open your heart open your heart God has sent them today to attend to the needs of his children it is that God that you have come to seek he has released his angels to minister to your knees. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, the Spirit of God. Thank you. Eka shata bala do zide de bosh. Mandele braka to zinda la dosh. Eka paso to legre de andados. Legada bayanto se de le bradando zi katayat. Mashada la brada shanta kata bala dos. Eka bala do shede de bosh. La grado shikata, le ge, ema do zoto le gradash, le guado zete le brado zikata, le gre de 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 shikata bala do ze, le guado zete bakata yadadash. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jehovah. lost me. I cannot tell why Jesus lost me. I cannot tell why I on Calvary tree he suffered so for me. me. He lost me. me. I, I cannot tell, tell why. why He lost me. me. 
I cannot tell why he loves me. I cannot tell why. I and Calvary tree is so far for me. He loves me. I cannot tell why. He lost me. I cannot tell why. Jesus loves me. I cannot tell why. I on Calvary Street is so far for me. He lost me. I cannot tell why. He lost me. I cannot tell why. Jesus loves me. I cannot tell why. A cavalry tree he suffered for me. He loves me. I cannot tell why. His only friend that love his friends to the to an end stream that is ready to sacrifice everything, everything, and that is why you are not living here the same way you came. Amen. You are not living here the same way you came. Amen. He loves you. He loves you more than. You lost yourself. Hallelujah. Amen. Madam, God bless you. Huh? Say amen now. <laughs> Pray for you. Say amen. Okay, you did the prayer I asked you to do. What was your encounter? If you did the prayers, the way I asked you to do. Hmm? You did your best. Eh? God was not looking for your best. He was saying you should do it according to his instructions. Because if you did it well with open heart, you would have, have a counter. That have a counter. Hmm? Now, there are things you don't play with. That are very important. Yeah? When instructions are given to you, you carry it out to the letter. Say it. Uh -huh. God is not a man. If you do it, you must have a counter. You must see God in action. God is not a wood God. You know, sometimes the fact that we have not seen God in our lives, we feel that God's existence is limited to some extent. God is too mighty. Hmm? We are going to do that prayers. I want you to do it from your heart. I want you to do it from your heart. Because there is a dream that God will show you. He will show you. You will see it. It is dream we have to do with battles and fight. We will see God fighting for you. Okay? So, you are going to do that prayers. Or you are happy with situations. Are you happy with the situation? Yes, sir. Eh? Yes, sir. It's only you and me that know what you are going through. Eh? Yes, it must stop. Yes, so you must ready to do that. My own is to help you. My own is to tell you what is happening. My own is to tell you what God wants you to do. Your own is to do it. 
and God will take over the remaining. Hmm? Mm -hmm. So you need to pray because I haven't see it. See now what you do for a living. What do you do? Business. business. What kind of business? Provisions. Provision. Because I see it going down. I see it going down. Huh? Is somebody not come to buy your container? Okay? Somebody not come to take over where you are supposed to be heading yourself. So that is why you must pray. Must pray. Okay? You do that prayer well, and you will see what I'm telling you now. Then you'll be satisfied. And after that, you begin to get result. Begin to see change around your world. Mm -hmm. We look at your children. Hmm? Hmm? Your children. How many children do you have? Three. Three. I'm going to pray for you now. When they come back, lay your hands on them. Hmm? We not spend on them. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Father. Let his hands carry grace as your daughter live here now. As she live here, let his hands carry grace. As he laid his hands upon his children, let there be transfer of grace. Let there be transfer of grace. Through these hands of yours, let it become an extension of the power of God and bring a seal of approval over your children. You will not spend on them yet in the name of Jesus Christ. At the count of one to three, Holy Spirit, fall upon these hands of your daughter. One, two, three, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Receive that grace. Receive that grace. Receive that grace. Receive. That grace. Now. 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 Jump your hands together for grace. Please, when instructions are given to us, carry it out. It's very important. It's not coming to God's presence. The work of a man of God and God is to give you directions. Open your eyes to some things around you. Tell you what God wants you to do. Let me tell you. Any man who only tells you what your problem is. And it's not telling you what God wants you to do. Is playing with you. God is not just a God who reveals issue without solution. He's the God of solution. And that is one way you will know where God dwells. God don't expose 
problems and say, yes, so it's true, yes, so it's true. Yes, and there is no solutions. Do not give solution to it. So that is why every thing that instruction you have given and the praise of God, you carry it out. Carry it out. Because that is what God wants you to do at that particular time. Praise Master Jesus. Okay? Praise Master Jesus. So carry it out and you will see God manifest in your life. Okay? The Lord bless you. Grace speak for all of you here today. May God's eyes be opened into your home, opened into your family, opened into your business, opened into everything that makes you who you are. Whatever that is not making you happy, may God uproot in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. Yes, Madam, thank you. The same thing with you. Uh, yeah. Madam, yes. Please, the same thing. Let me deal with that off. Please, come. Come. Just shift it forward. Please. Lay your hands on your children today. And they could pray for all of them. All of them. Because God don't want you to spend on sickness. Okay? Uh, God don't want you to spend on sickness or run, run, and run. So when they are back, lay your hands on them. Because God will be putting grace in your hand. Bring grace in your hand. Pray for all of them. This year, God will give you rest. Amen. You're not going to run around. Amen. Be happy with your children. Amen. Okay? Amen. So cancel that. Cancel that. Amen. So that you find happiness and not running and gather and spend it on children's sickness again. If you do, you gather again, spend it on it. You know, God Himself, He will not be pleased. So you do that. Okay? God bless you. Now, I release grace upon your hands. Just like the rod of Moses, so with these hands carry grace. As you lay your hands on your children, you will be transferred to them. Lord, at your word, at your word, at your word, at your word, in the name of of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Thank you Father. Thank you. In Jesus' mighty name, we we'll pray. Amen. Amen. Thank Amen. you. Jump your hands together for grace. Okay. Please lay your hands on your children and pray for them. Lord bless all of you. Can you stand to your feet now? I'm going to pray for you. I'm going to pray for you. It's on him, can I, please, can you shift forward the grace over every closed doors around you? Shift, shift here. Every closed doors around you, they are open from today. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I see closed doors around you. Closed doors. I declare them open now. 
I declare them open, 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 open. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I declare them open now. Open now. Open now. Open now. Open now. Open now. Open. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Celebrate grace. Shada bradu zihakata. Ikata balando zite yakata baladash. Lekoto bayando zente bradu shinda bakuria. Lekrado shinda balado ze. Leko bayando zeha. Lakoto shita balados. Madam, God bless you. You are winning these battles because you are winning the battle. Uh -huh. You are winning the battle because I see battles. Hmm? I see battles. I'm telling you. I see battles. But I pray by God intervention into your home. You will win the battle. Amen. Yeah. You will win the battle. Amen. No one will come to tell you sorry Amen. and sympathize with you. Amen. But they will congratulate you. Amen. Amen. I return this arrow back to where it's coming from. Amen. Back to where it's coming from. What is yours? What is your home? They will not have heard from you people. Amen. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. The battles are over. Amen. When home is fighting a man, there is a problem. From today, I pray. Amen. That because you are here today, you start winning the battle Amen. from your husband family. Amen. Amen. You will win that battle. In the mighty name of Amen. Jesus Christ. May grace speak for you Amen. and your husband. Amen. 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 In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Capacity to win battles comes from the Lord. And I ask God to bestow on you that grace today to be invisible. As you are here today in the reins of the Spirit, I declare that you stand beside your husband as God is empowering you, is empowering your husband. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lika soto le brada sanda ladush. Ekato balando ze le dea. Maligre de shikata balado ze. Ekoto balado zikata ya. Elegre de anto bakusi kata lado zoto ladash. Eka balado ze. Latushi kata legre de zitaba. God never lies. Is the God who win battles. I send them now to the family. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Deliver victory for this household. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. The vow that says they will not celebrate. Lord, destroy their plans. Amen. 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 In the name of Jesus, Amen. I assign angels of battles now to take over from you. Fight. Recover. Recover. Recover Amen. all that belongs to them. That they have sit upon, recover, 
Deliver to your daughter now. Amen. 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 Deliver to your daughter. One, two, three. Receive it now. Amen. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it now. Receive it now. Amen. Receive it now. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I place it in your hands. You shall be congratulated. Amen. God will begin to do great and mighty things in your family. Amen. From now. Amen. Now, till the end of this year, it shall be a season of surprise. Amen. Great doors Amen. open for you. Amen. You are a winner. Amen. That is who you are. Amen. You are victorious Amen. in Jesus' name. Amen. Jump your hands together for grace. Celebrate grace. And we stand to our feet. I want to touch every one of you now. Pray for you. I want to pray for you. Please, from next week, Tuesday, we'll be starting on time. I don't want to be living here by to make the day, you know, if you don't come on time, you we'll spend the days like all the day you are spending it. Uh -huh. So, we'll be starting on time from next Tuesday and so that you can also close on time, get back to your various business, take the blessings to your business places, take the, place, the blessing to your places of work. Praise Master Jesus. So please, that is what we begin to do right now. Say, Lord Jesus, open my chapter. Say, Lord Jesus, Jesus. open my chapter. Open my chapter. Say, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, open my chapter as I receive a touch from you. Let it be a touch of answered in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Okay. Am I happy now, B? You are happy. Okay. God bless you. All right. Because I know it should be. Because God has taken over from you. All right. God bless you all. Can you get a prophetic seed in your hands as I touch every one of you here today? Don't know what you are going through, but God Almighty will meet you at the very point of your knees. Okay. I think Sister. Uh, Sister Courage is in the in church today. Sister Courage, God bless you. Come, 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 come. I said something about, is it not two weeks ago now? Yes, sir. Two Tuesdays ago. And uh, thank God she's here today to confirm, you know, some of the things I said. You know, sometimes I want you, most of you who have the mantle that we got from this ministry. You people are using it as an handkerchief to clean your face. Using it to clean your face. And you know, I laugh because you don't know the worth of it. Is the truth. Is the truth. You know, a lot of testimonies, those who live oversee themselves, they, maybe one of these, day God will bring them. They will speak. But at least, Sister Courage is here. He will be able to confirm that of his brother. Yeah, it's a living witness of it. And uh, uh, it, is it not? That should be December. You called me now. We talked. I'm the one who called you. I was the one who called you. Yes. And you said you wanted to call me. Talk about your brother. I said now it's opportunity. Get a matter. Even, even though the devil will try to fight against the matter. You know, that on the 31st, a lot of things. A lot have, the devil is a liar. I've never seen a lot of disappointment. When he, he fought that matter, that is when I knew that the matter is going to bring a lot of miracles. Praise Master Jesus. Uh -huh. And even though Christians prefer to go and pay 10000 for for syrup, or this thing, that getting something that will help them to be blessed. Okay? I'm telling you, uh, that is what I've seen in the body of Christ. They prefer, all those are, what do you call it, 
All those are ones that carry basket, carry basket and tip inside. You know, you see them. If believers prefer to buy that one, all they see, then what carry grace that can do all things. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. So, and I said to her, this is opportunity for God to open up and work faithfully, faithfully, you know, because he believed on what God can do. It didn't take, it was days, not a week. Is that not? The brother responded and got it. On 31st, we have issue with eating until we sent to him and she told me that the mother, whether the mother can stand for the brother and pray. You know, we gave it to them. What was the result of Fast, fast. Yeah. As we they pray, we they show. Okay. Jump your hands together for grace. So, I wanted you to hear so that you will not just feel as if I was saying it that day. Maybe, you know, because the sister is not here. Uh, because I know she was still nursing the baby. And one day she will be here. It will confirm it. It was not even up to the month. You said the month of April. Yes. April. This month. Uh -huh. So the, my brother was in that, in that uh, February. It was, he said they sent him the message on the 5th. Uh -huh. So his mind was mm, inside March. He will check. So that before February and he said, let's see, just open the app. He <laughs> open the app. He's just so uh, He was like, I don't know, he called me, he said, I'm scared. I said, don't worry, just call the lawyer. Then he said, uh, one of his friends there said, before they grant her, well, that was the message they sent. So I said, that means they have already uh, mm -hmm. granted it for you. Then later, he said he called his lawyer. His lawyer said that he will get back to him. Because he said they have a pin that they need to check. The pin is with the lawyer. Then the lawyer sent him the pin, said, check it yourself now. But since they have sent you that message, that means they have granted request. That was how he checked it. He saw that they are very Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. So, it was supposed to be April because I know that he mentioned April. That God backdated it. That is how God works. When miracle is working so that you will know that this is the finger of God. He will do it in such a way you cannot argue. You cannot argue and say this is my effort. No. It's the Lord's doing. So, I want you to hear from her. So that you will not, you know, lots sometimes you see we talk here. There is a brother I will bring here from Aunchi one of these days. When I bring him here, some of the things I also tell you, I will ask him in your present. He will, he will tell you. Okay? He will tell you so that you will know. Uh -huh. So, what makes you know that God is with a man is when God grants everything with proof and, you know, a lot of it I've received so many from uh, January to now. A lot of calls. Pastor, thank you for giving yourself to God. Thank you for the mantle. Thank you for the days. And God has been so faithful. You will be the next to testify. You will be the next to testify. Our problem is that we prefer. <laughs> we prefer. Praise Master Jesus. We prefer. Uh, we prefer. And you know, the, the miracle, the victory all year now, the reason why I hold on, the thing uh, is ready to produce one of these, the cost of it. The cost of this to produce now one of it is almost 3,005. This car. This, okay, look at this one now. This thing you see here is an olive oil, but it's like water. For you to know, okay, this thing is 3,005. If we bring it here now, I say this, you will be shouting. Shouting and shouting and shouting and shouting. A cost of it, and that is why I decide to relax for now. I want every one of you to be happy. Uh -huh. That's why I said to relax. And that is why, you know, sometimes you, when you are, uh, when they say something, you think that maybe the church wants to make money. It's not true. It's not true. The cost of this thing now, in the whole, in the whole of, uh, are you hungry? 
Huh? And the whole of this town, I will boast. Because a lot of people come here, they go around. And we always say to the man of God, your, product, your spiritual products are the cheapest. They say, at the cheapest. At the cost of giving you the water of life for 500. It's like it's here. How much is to produce one? That water of life. From your little experience. But at the end of the day, I give it for 500. Then, it is now that I said it's going to be for one five. So that we can continue. I decided I will do the water of life because it will still be a bit easier for you to get than this one. Than this one. Okay? Any oil that you aggregate, a few months, you begin to kick inside. It's not original. It's not this you see here, you can keep it for three years. It will still be as just the way. So I brought this one to show you a sample today. Okay? So if you see this one now, what make this one now is 3,500. See it? So most of the things you see us, it's not because we want to make money. For me, ah, not. If I want to make money, I will not give you what I have left of 500. I think in this town, some give their own away 5,000, 10,000. Uh, I know. Even many have come to me and say, Pastor, what are you doing? But I just want it as an extension. The joy is the testimony of what God is doing. That's what gives me joy. Praise Master Jesus. Madam, not tired now. You receive your healing when you are charger. Eh? When you are doing, you are telling the devil that your waste is paining you. At the end of the day, the devil will be happy. Uh -huh. Sometimes do exercise. Eh? Do exercise. We are praying, believing God. Between December, God should give us a mountain. This program will not be doing it here again. We will be doing it inside the mountain where you can be moving. You will see. At the end of the day, you cannot sit down. Eh? So, there are exercises that bring healing. Okay? The Lord bless you. The Lord bless you in the name of Jesus. The Lord honor you in the name of Jesus. Whatever is your heart desire by the touch of the Spirit of God today, you receive miracles. You receive breakthrough. You receive miracles. You receive breakthrough. You receive miracle. You receive breakthrough in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you for the touch upon your children. Grant them your testimony in the name of Jesus Christ. Mama, thank you. you. Can come now. The Lord grant you the touch and miracles. May answer every of your heart desire now in the name of Jesus. I touch everyone with the touch of the Spirit, the blessings of the Lord in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. In the name of Jesus, the touch of the Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Receive the touch of the Lord. In the name of Jesus. Receive the touch of the Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You have got your store. Eh? Your own. No wonder now you are not in the city. It's very good. Okay? God bless you. What are you doing there now? something, something that both classes appreciate that people will get them. Huh? That is what you should do in that place. If it's, you are talking of within the Evapora Road down going to the police station side, you'll be talking of that. Understand me now? Yeah. When you put that one there, 
those people who passed, who passed, who passed, who passed there, the quantity of the people are limited. You understand me? It's something that people use at home. You know what I'm saying? You know, people, when people use at home, you should do them. And you see, it costs my bit. Okay? Thank you. Well, God bless you. Well, God bless you. How is your daughter now? for you. Visit your family in the name of Jesus Christ. May I bless you. The Lord, open every closed doors. The family in the name of Jesus. As I touch them now, the spirit of the Lord come upon each and every one of them in the name of Jesus. This season, we begin to hear testimony from them in Jesus' name. I bless you. You are giving me. You are giving me. I bless you. Because you will never go down. Lord, hands rest on you in the mighty name of Jesus. In the place of the Lord, be upon you and your household. In the name of Jesus, bless your husband. Let it be opened in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. So God bless you. You drive on Sunday. Mm -hmm. God bless you. The hand of God rest on you in the name of Jesus. What of your son? Is that on now? bless you. And the Lord rest on you in the mighty name of Jesus. May God satisfy your life with happiness and breakthrough in the name of Jesus. Lord bless you. A grace speak for you. In the mighty name of Jesus. A touch that will open up your word and grant you joy in Jesus name. Lord bless you. A touch of the Lord upon your life in Jesus name. Bring your boy, sorry. Yeah, your boy. Hand of God rest on you. In the name of Jesus, the hand of God rest on you. The hand of God rest on you. In the mighty name of Jesus, your hand rest on you. In the name of Jesus, your hand rest on you. In the name of Jesus, your hand rest on you. In the mighty name of Jesus, your hand rest on you. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, every one of you. God bless you. I bless you. I want to appreciate all of you. I want to ask that you begin to tell people what God is doing here. Invite more of your people to the prayers. Let them come because what everyone needs now is the hand of God upon their life. You should be helping somebody when you take the person to a place where you can pray and God answered his prayers. And it will remain indebted and be grateful to you as you do it. For those of you online, may God bless you now. Receive the touch for your answer in the name of Jesus. Receive your blessings. Just as the sister testify, you will be the next to testify. Get job right now. Miracle job be released to you now. Miracle document be released to you now. May your business be open now. May you find peace in life in the name of Jesus. Be healed in your body right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you for being part of what the city of kings has been doing. The Lord reward you in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Get every of our spiritual item. We are right where you are. Call and book for. You have the capacity to liberate and to bring put smile on your face as you call to get your own mantle, the Lord will give you grace to live in the reign of the miraculous in the name of Jesus. Amen. Can you watch your screen now, our program for 20 seconds, please write it down for those of you viewing here yeah? and those of you in the service here yeah, and those outside, right 22nd of March is going to be a night of the mid, a night we declare as the midnight battle. The court of the midnight battle will be available. That program is an all-night program. It's an all-night program. It's a night that God will pass over. And when God pass over, there is deliverance, there is healing, there is liberty. So please be part of that program that will be taking place on the 22nd of March. And it's a Friday service. It's a Friday. It's an all-night program.
program. I want you to begin to prepare for it. I've started preparing for the whole night. It's going to be a miracle night of wonders. Okay? So please begin to prepare for that all night service. The date again is on the 22nd of March 2024. That is the time. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. The next one you see there, and those of you on the Facebook see there, is every Tuesday. Every Tuesday is a fake clinic. Always join me. Can you give me that now? If you ask to see that. Every Tuesday by 8 a.m. Join me in our faith clinic. Dr. Jesus is in the house. Wherever you are, you from Uromi, Uroa, ewu Tell me, say, you know, way. They even can't afford, they can't go to hospital. They still call, they still, still, they still see. I said, I don't mean for sick, this sickness now. Oh, God, thank you for what you do for me for this church. <laughs> okay. So, are you just looking at us, celebrate God? <laughs> so, every Tuesday, wherever you have viewed this from, you will be the next to testify. Connect, and the Lord will bless you. Next Tuesday is an opportunity again. Are you sick in your body? Are you going through spiritual issues? problems and whatever you are going through. Come. There's God and Dr. Jesus in here in City of King Dominion Ministry that can do all things. Thank you and God bless all of you. Put that date down, the 22nd of March. The, hand, the Lord will be waiting for you in the house. Thank you as we join sister. Jump your hands together for grace. Celebrate grace. Are you tired? Drop your hands for grace. Are we blessed? Please, shall we all be on our feet as we bless the man of God?